If money can buy it, I can't use it. I'm so glad we're rich. What good's wealth if you don't abuse it? I'm so glad we're rich. They say it can't buy happiness, but money can keep us together. They say it can't buy love, I guess, but money still makes love so much better. If money can't buy it, I don't want it. I'm so glad we're rich. The key is how you spend and flaunt it. I'm so glad we're rich. I'm so glad we're rich. I'm just glad we're rich. Mr. Bannister, sir, it's time to start the program. Let me and to start the monologue. Have oh. a seat. Oh, I was going to bring the guest out. Oh, not just save yet. you a lot of time and we, effort. We can't deprive our viewers. But you're depraving me because you know at Bannister Banter, we bring you more, you more. Not to me, but and we do it, it through the monologue too. Ah, that's not all right. We'll um, give it a start. Uh, I went to the CVS the other day. Yes. Yes, the pharmacy. Exactly. To get. Yes. You know, you think about it. Think about it. It's called a pharmacy. Okay. You'd think that it would sell like cattle and fresh corn. Because it's at a farm, but it's a pH. Yes, but it's not. Mm. Yes, it's a pharmacy. Well, phonetically at least. And I noticed an unusual aisle What's at that? the CVS. It was labeled personal intimacy. Personal intimacy aisle? Are there other types of intimacy? Well, there might be, just... Uh, I mean, isn't all intimacy personal? Could be, but... I mean, I, I guess you could have others into intimacy. That would be like Playboy and Hustler. Ah, there you go. Maybe I guess that's I, I don't know, but have you ever... Personal intimacy. I don't know what they'd sell there. I probably should have checked it oh, out. Oh, you didn't go down that aisle? No. No, I uh, didn't go stuff there. stuff you probably wouldn't want anyway. Yes, I shouldn't go there. Um, another thing I wanted to discuss... There's more? Superfluous qualifiers in place names. Such as? So for example, I, I, I was driving down the road the other day, I saw a road sign, I think it was on 66. Front Royal. Okay. There is no back Royal. But there's Royal, isn't there? I don't think so. Why do they need to qualify it as Front Royal? So it doesn't confuse people. Um. As opposed to what? And the same goes for Maryland with Upper Marlboro. As opposed to Lower? There is no Lower Marlboro. There isn't? Not that I know of. Didn't know that. I didn't know that. You know, why not just call it Marlboro? Is it like Middleburg with no, just a middle? Of Which you think would be right on top of Centerville. You would think right in the middle there. You two would be, you know. Not to confuse it with yes. Berg or Upper Berg. And it, it's like uh, the, the, the one uh, college. I saw playing college football the other day on, on television. Yeah, what was that? Boise State University. When did we annex Boise? As a state? Yeah, I'm not sure. You're right. I just, you know, mm. I just... It Boy, just seems wrong somehow. Doesn't it, though? Don't think I have a couple safe. of shameless plugs here. Oh, you do? You know, at the Banner store, they sell all of your... Um, Bannister paraphernalia. Bannister paraphernalia. Uh, made out of uh, the clothing line, made out of 100% cotton. Oh, the cotton. The synthetic polyester that has a look and feel of genuine polyester, but wears out faster, so right. people have to replace it. Doesn't last as long, exactly. You know, and we sell uh, Bannister Banter T-shirts. T-shirts Picture of me like saying, here's looking down at you. With having tea. tea. There. Yes, having tea. Mm. You know. And banister stairs, you know. We, we make designer stairs. Yes, I know that. It's that's, not just a stair, it's a banister. stair. That's where most of the money comes from. A, a new, you know, uh, marketing campaign we're coming up with now. You know, encouraging people to buy the world's most expensive stairs. Why? Bannister stairs, because it tells people that you don't have to economize. Ah, that's right. It makes it a statement. You know, you can right now it. we're working with Apple to introduce the new iStare. Yeah, it's, it's a virtual? Well, no, no, no. But it, it basically it does the same thing that a traditional stair does, but it costs five times more. Ah. So people feel yeah. special. You get a, have to get a subscription for it. Yes. So our new motto, our new slogan, we charge more because we can? 
I actually, I like that. That's not it. It was going to be Bannister Stairs. Why pay less? Ah, I like that. Kind of a playing on words. Yes. That's very good. You know? So, um, so, so, so maybe, maybe you'll make some more money. Yeah, well, that's, that's the dream, yes, because, uh, you know, Bannister Stairs taking stairs to a new level. A whole new level. Mm. This monologue brought us down to another level. Yes. Well, maybe the guest can save us. Maybe, maybe. Is it time for the guest? Yes. Oh, yes, good. Please. Let me get the guest. Thank you. I think she brought her pet. Oh, uh, this way, please. Is, guest is it with her asphyxia pet. Asphyxia is her name, sir. Asphyxia. And, uh, I see. You've got a friend with you. Goodness. Get her a seat here. Uh, yeah. I think he's safe. She's yes. got him I under have chains. Have a seat. Yes, I don't. I'll, I'll be in the next room, sir. Surly. Let me know if you need. How many security. episodes of Bannister Banter have we done? Oh, hundreds and hundreds. I don't know the exact number. You know, is it a good thing or a bad thing that I'm no longer surprised by this? It's probably we need to mix it up a little bit so it does become a little more surprising. I mean, you. you but anyway, what can I say? Thank you. Looks like he's Excuse me. Excuse me while I introduce you to our vast viewing audience. Yes, hello. Welcome to um, another horrific episode of Bannister Banter. Um, we're particularly delighted to uh, have with us uh, Asphyxia, is it? It is. And... Um, this is my pet Gargalon. Your pet Gargalon, of course it is, yes. I see. Okay. <laughs> um, so asphyxia. Uh, that's, uh, that's certainly um, uh, an unusual name. Yeah, is that just like share? It's just one word, or Madonna? Yes. It's one word, uh, just asphyxia. It's yes, just know. asphyxia. Uh, I have to say, asphyxia, the outfit is breathtaking. See, because you're asphyxia, and the, the outfit, the scandalous oh. outfit. Uh, don't get all choked oh, up. Oh, okay. See, choked up because of the asphyxia. See, oh, just that was kind of funny. Thank you. I try. I guess, did you hear the monologue? I, I did. Okay. Now, uh, asphyxia, uh, what is, what is, Asphyxia, what, what is your, your claim to fame? I am um, Asphyxia from Monster Madhouse. From Monster Madhouse, And uh, okay. I, I used to be married to Frankenstein. So, ah, okay, I see. Now this makes a little more sense. Okay, so you are the ex-bride of Frankenstein. Yes. I see, okay. Uh, but, uh, but things didn't work out? You could say that. Okay, um, but... but in your day, you were married to a celebrity. Mm. You know, he, okay. Well. Um, so, so how did how did you and um, um, how, how did you and and Frankenstein meet? Well, um, actually, I was brought to the Frankenstein castle um, to be a companion for Frankenstein. For Frankenstein. Because, because the doctor said that he was lonely. He was lonely. Yes. Okay. And and you were you were just brought in. I so was I was brought in. So um, it was. Yeah. So it was like an a, a, a kind of like an arranged marriage. A, a mail order, uh, whatever you are. What what are you? I'm a doll. You're a doll. I'm I'm put together with doll parts, broken doll parts, so to make a whole doll to make a whole doll and then animated somehow, much like Frankenstein. Yes, I'm not sure exactly how I came to life, but um, when I woke up in the box, um, it said, has been on the box, so I'm assuming that was my creator's name. I see, okay. And you're made up from different doll parts? Broken doll parts, yes broken doll parts, so yes. you could have Barbie's legs and Ken's arms? No, all female doll. Oh, well, okay, but, um, and they, they, they were very specific about they, that, yes. And they, they just, um, they just stitched you together and then animated you. Yep, um, yep. As, um, 
It's okay, gargle on. It's Why okay. do you have a gargle on? He, he's very protective of me. He, he um, guards me. I see. Because nice. I'm a doll, I'm, I yeah. can fall apart. Yes, okay. much like and the monologue. Plus, plus he, won't, um, he won't eat plastic. He won't, okay, so, so we're close. So, so I'm safe. safe. Yeah. I see. Okay, all right, why not? I'll just go with it. Um, so tell me about uh, a little bit about your, your courtship uh, with uh, Frankenstein. Uh, well, actually, uh, as I was saying before, I was brought in. Um, we didn't actually get to date. So you, so you so didn't I was date, just you just... Here you are, this is your new bride. But okay. you know what? I fell in love with him right away because he was so much like me. He's all pieced together with like little he, pieces he, of people. He too was a patchwork person, you know, with right. different I arms and legs from... Yeah, I think my creator was a little more squeamish because corpses. Okay. He, he put me together from plastic. So. Okay, so, so the two of you had that in common. With stitches. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, now, uh, d did, did, you, did you have a big wedding or did you just... Uh, uh, no, nope, the, the, the doctor had us married. Dr. Frankenstein? Yes. Okay. He, he, I know a captain on a boat can do that. Can a mad scientist? Um, I think it was his assistant, actually, yes. had an online thing. Okay, for, for, for marrying you. Okay. Did you at least get a, get a ring or something? Um, a onion ring? Well, no, you know, engagement ring or a wedding ring. Or a good, uh, it's okay. Sit down. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Gargle on. Um, you already okay. So, so when did uh, when did you first realize that things were were uh, weren't going to work out with this Frankenstein character? Oh, probably the time that he decided he was going to go into town and meet the neighbors. It uh, didn't go over too well. It didn't. No. You, what before that, the two of you were we just stayed reclusive? at the castle. Yeah, we just stayed at the castle, so we didn't frighten anybody. Hung out, and eventually you got sick of each other, and he decided to venture out and. Uh, no, well, we figured as newlyweds, you know, we go out and we meet the neighbors, and. And they didn't uh, take they, a shine no, to Frankenstein. Not, not to him, no, no. But he kind of frightened them all, so. I see. Uh, yeah. And then what happened? Well, um, they came. They showed up at our door with um, sticks with fire and sharp, pointy, stabby ones. Oh, uh, pitch t uh, torches and pitchforks. Okay. I hate it when that happens, especially here at Bannister Manor, and I don't know how they get past the moat. Right. Yes. So, so, so what did you end up doing? Uh, well, Frankie got a little angry about that, so he went out to talk to them, and I see. Um, they tore him apart. They did. Yeah. Okay. okay well, that. Uh, so, but but then what what led to your your ultimate? Um, well, I guess that would explain the breakup, because they tore him apart. But he kind of but fell to but pieces. but you did get divorced, right? Well, no, he died. Oh, okay. He was ripped apart. Oh, okay. So, so that did. Let me see. You know. Um, so, so you and Frankenstein are are joined together in the bonds of unholy monstermony, and you have a few good years together. Yeah. And then he ventures out, and the villagers rip him limb from limb. Unfortunately, yes. Okay, so so Not you're actually you more of a widow of Frankenstein. I, I am, yeah. I see. Okay, well, uh, did he have a good insurance policy, or? Uh, well, cause we weren't technically alive, so life oh, insurance I see. wouldn't so really. He, and, you're right, and because death insurance, they don't really give that. No. So that okay. didn't work out too well. Okay, so so what do you? Uh, how are you supporting yourself? What do it? Uh, well, actually, um, I once Frankie was gone, um, the doctor had no more use for me, so he packaged me back up and stuck me in a toy store, where <laughs> monsters from Monster Madhouse came and freed me and adopted you. I yes, see. so I live at Monster Madhouse. I see. Uh, you and is that where you found the the gargalon? Yes, he's the one that freed me. Yeah. 
He's one of the ones that freed me. Now you think that he'd be made by Lavoris, wouldn't you? By who? Lavoris or Scope. I have a no Gargalon. Idea. I have no idea. See, because you did the for the mm. bad breath and just it's okay, it's okay. Never it's okay. mind. It's okay. It's don't okay. worry, nobody, he, not um, even humans he, don't get he, me, he so might, it doesn't really, you know. See, because he, you would gargle. You know, I'll gargle oh, so just, okay. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. Well, are you, are you getting back out there in the dating scene then? Well, um, I was told this was a perfect venue for that, that, you know, kind of put okay. myself back out there and. I see. All right. And, um, and, what are you looking for in a monster? Well, pretty much somebody who will accept me for who I am, stitches and all. Um, not be frightened about, uh, uh, frightened of me, you know, and or, or my pet. Okay, so so, um, and I guess he'd have to have a good sense of humor, so that he could keep you in stitches. And I'm pretty so sure the just, stitches just stay where they are. <sighs> okay. So, he's, so, he's, so, he's someone, so, so someone who will accept you for who you are. Yeah, and uh, and and um, not just think I'm, you know, frighten them or think mm -hmm. I'm just an airhead or something like that. It's right. okay, Garcolon. It's okay. Um, see, I, look, I took him out for Manny Petty. He's, also, mm -hmm. he's got his shiny nails. Now, now, where did you say you picked up the 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 Gargalon? Um. He and as well as a few other monsters from Monster Madhouse freed oh, me from okay. the toy store. Okay. Well, that was, I was going to say you could have bought him at the Mon store. Ah, the Mon store because ah, he's a and ah, it, it would be a shop that like a pet. Never mind. Ah, okay. Um. So so you need to get back out there, and you're hoping to find a nice um, amalgam like yourself, someone made up for. Multiple different uh, well, people. I I did hear of this this doctor um, that said that in just seven days he can make me a man. I would really in really love. In just seven days he could make you a man. Yes, I would love to talk to him more about that if I could find us. Did this doctor. it require any type of surgery? More than likely. Because there may have been a a a, a gross misunderstanding there. I would read the fine print if I were you. Oh. I, it's, it's, you know, a lot of those advertisements can be, be misleading. Okay. But um, getting back to, um, to, to uh, what's his name? Oh, Frankenstein. Yes, that's him. Um, I am. Oh, excuse oh, me, sir. It's look, tea it's time tea here. Time. I don't have God. any pet food. I, I don't know if dolls drink tea. tea. Do dolls it's drink tea, tea, but I'm not sure about if the pet needs anything as well. But um, he just recently ate, so oh, good. Good. I, I'm, I'm, not sure I'm we sorry, have, but I haven't brushed he, his teeth, he so he's got, little, you know, he's got a little something. He just recently ate. Surly, yes, sir. would you take inventory of the household staff? Absolutely. I'm Make sure, sure no one's missing. No one's missing. Okay. Uh, getting back to, to, um, to your ex-husband. Uh, I, w I would imagine he's a he's a real hoot, or he was a real hoot on um, on April Fool's Day. You know, House. Frankenstein. See, he could be playing uh, jokes on people and just no, 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 no. He wasn't. He, and he was nice. much better for Halloween, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, because he wouldn't actually need a costume. He would just, just blend like, in. You know. Yeah. Now, now you're familiar. Uh, with the books or the book about him, right? Mm. What's a book? Uh, Frankenstein. What's a book? Yeah. Oh, oh what is a book? Okay. Uh, it's a tome. It's a, it's a literature. I don't uh, know anyway, what that is. I, I'm a doll. The 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 woman. There's not much upstairs. You know, uh, the the woman who 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 wrote Frankenstein was actually married to the poet uh, Percy. I believe it was a Byron Percy there. Okay. Oh goodness, this isn't going to go over well. Well, I'll try anyway. See, but what you did was you were able to marry Shelley's Frankenstein. Huh? See, because Mary Shelley huh? wrote Frankenstein, you actually married. Huh? Huh? Yes. 
See, the, never mind. I really thought that. Well, getting back out there, mm -hmm. aren't there other dolls that you could that, that, that you could hook up with? Chucky's a little short for me. Well, I was going to say Chucky, or I guess he's, he's a little. Being asphyxia, you'd want to date a Chucky doll. Is he taller? So you can. Is he taller? You know, the, 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 see, because the. He Chucky is about in your asphyxia and that whole yeah. Yeah. choking routine. Is there a Chucky? Yeah. I could no, meet him? No, no, no. It's just a little bit of banister humor. Okay. Very little. <laughs> okay. See, because asphyxia means to be with, without air and you can't. Oh, well, that's me. I'm a doll. Yeah. I don't breathe. Okay. Let, let, let me let me try this again. Okay, um, so when um, when when you um, oh no no Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. Okay, he was ripped from, from pieces, and you said uh, there was no. I guess there was no will. There, there's no. no insurance policy, but did he have like a oh. warranty? No, no. Where they'd replace him if anything happened to him? No, that would be more for me. For you. Okay. Yeah, because he was people. I'm dolls. Okay. So now, do you have a string to pull that, that'll get you to say um, entertaining things, like some of those dolls? You know. It's more of a push button. Oh, I see. It's a it's a new style, I guess. Where do you hide the button? My back. Oh, okay. That's that's PG. Okay, we we can we can go there. Um, now, um, another thing I, I want have you have you tried have you tried speed dating or online dating? Dating wasn't really a thing for me because no, I well, mean I now that you're now that I'm out, out there, there again, again. Well, I guess oh. you wouldn't want to have to post a photo online. I, I, mm, the no. problem with dating now is. Um, they tend to be frightened you, you of my pet. You would take him along with you Oh, on goodness, a date? yes. Yes. He's my pet. He's very protective of me. So if somebody were to try and hurt me, gargle on. Oh, what do you see? Hello. My, I, I think what, he sees, I what think he likes your statue. What do you have? No, uh, he, he likes my thinker, yes. Yeah. You know, Can um, you do a thinker, gargle on? Yes, um, I'll be thinker? with you in a minute. No? Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, let me move your chain. Do you like take him okay. to the park and let him run free, or? Um, normally, when I bring him out, I put a chain on him so I can come back here, Gargolin. Come on. I see. Yeah, because otherwise, um, he might eat your whole staff. Well, um, but yeah. when, when I, you know, when I have any prospective suitors, they, they need to not be frightened off so by him like they normally do. Because he tends to frighten them off or eat them. I, I see. Is he amphibious? I don't know. Because he looks like he, he could be. No. I no, could use I a few of those in the moat. No. I used to have piranhas, but the crocodiles ate them. Wouldn't it be the other way around? You'd think. But, They're but, smaller but, and but faster. if I had a few of those, I don't think... Um, you just have them stand outside the, the gates and I don't nobody think, get through I, into I don't the think the Girl Scouts would be bothering me anymore. No. With no. their ten dollar But Gargalon is unique. He's one of a kind. And, you know, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, fair, fair enough. Um, now this um, this monster madhouse. Tell me a little bit about that. You are on. A, you live with other monsters. I live with other monsters. Gargalon's one of them. I I gather that yes. What other types of monsters do you have with you? Uh, sometimes there's vampires and wolfmen and. 
some of them come and go. You there's, have you have vampires. There's there's one similar to Frankie. Ah, okay. So maybe he could be a potential suitor. Um, I don't think that. No. You just you, you really don't feel that kind of chemistry I with don't another think Frankenstein. I he knows what that means. Let me see. Okay. Um, He's just very friendly. He's very friendly. But he doesn't scare the villagers. No, because he's super friendly. I see. Okay. Unlike Frankenstein, who is he looked a little scary. Yeah. Yeah. Frankie. And, and didn't re wasn't really a people person. No, he tried to be, and <laughs> it didn't work out too and, well. And, and, no. and it went wrong. Okay. Yeah. Now. So, um, so we didn't break up, but he kind of did. But now, do you have any visible means of support? I mean, do you have a job? Or, I mean, yes, you hang out with these other assorted monsters, but... I live there. Okay, but I mean, do you cook or clean for them, or, you know... No. 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 So you're just a layabout. I'm a doll. In this monster madhouse, and that's... And that's how you get by? Well, I guess you don't eat much, being a doll. No. Don't eat, don't breathe. Okay. Don't need to sleep either. I'm sorry, sir, we've run out of time. I'm gonna have to show the guests the door. Okay. Put an end to all of this. Uh, oh, this thank is. goodness. Whatever this is, okay, well, yes, thank you for, for, um, whatever. Well, maybe she can come back sometime. Uh, uh, yes. It's okay. okay. Doodles, no, again, uh, you know, I don't really... Thank you very much. Uh, we'll, yes. we'll go this way, please. Uh, yeah. Sir, if you could wrap the program up with we're out of time. Turn around, Carl. Okay. Well, okay. well, that brings us to the end of another baffling episode of Bannister Banter. Until next time, this is Sloan Bannister saying adieu, and here's looking down at you. If money can buy it, I can't use it. I'm so glad we're rich What good's wealth if you don't abuse it I'm so glad we're rich They say it can't buy happiness But money can keep us together They say it can't buy love, I guess But money still makes love so much better Money can't buy it, I don't want it I'm so glad we're rich The key is how you spend and flaunt it I'm so glad we're rich I'm so glad we're rich I'm just glad we're rich mm -hmm.